Greetings, my fellow geologists, and welcome to Foundation. We are going all things medieval as we dive back into our little bit of village building. Although hopefully this time we're going to be at least able to get something slightly geological and find an iron mine somewhere. So this is where our little village got to last time. Remember we had quite an effort trying to build this little rustic village church which we finally got to go together so that should hopefully satisfy the needs of the peasantry and they shan't revolt like they normally end up doing. We got a little bit of housing built down and we were just starting to think about trying to set up a little bit of agriculture, a little bit of farming to see if we can try and uh, get some bread made up basically. So we've also got our little Lord's Manor down here which if you remember we've got um, assigned the Great Hall and we've got the Bailiff's Office although we still actually need to assign a Bailiff and we're considering to do gain influence prospect and mineral deposit nearby. Ooh, I sense some mining opportunity already. Go prospect, become a geologist, become the best form of person. Um, our little berry pickers are still merrily working away collecting their bushes. Um, let's increase speed slightly because we've got our poor little builder who's got to move across all his materials to start getting this wheat farm brought back online. And we're also pretty impoverished. We're not exactly making a lot of money, are we? Our poor little berry sellers flogging some stuff on the market, but it's going to take a while, I think. Also got, oh, there's a little sneaky house going up here. Who snuck that in? Did I, did I approve that as a residential building area? Yeah, apparently I did. <laughs> also got our woodcutters basically clearing out this section of land so that we can basically fit in more houses I guess kind of behind the church because we have got uh, a growing population immigration is high so we should be getting more people arriving to the village and we'll probably need more land at least that's kind of the hope um, we have got a spare slot for another build if we wanted to because we are actually going to have to think about so we're doing uh, food production. So we're going to have that. We're going to also need a windmill and we're going to need a bakery. I guess we should wait to see from the wheat farm where is going to be a good area for fertility. Because I know full well if I build my windmill here, windmill here, then this is going to be the best area for farmland. So we want to try and avoid that if we can. So let's set that down there. Happiness is looking pretty good. Given they've cleared a little bit more area around the back of here, I suppose we can allocate a little bit more land for housing if people want it. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. Desirability seems to be relatively low, but it's better than being in the industrial sector. People don't clearly want to live next to a stone quarry, which I suppose is kind of understandable. So our farm has just been built, although they seem to have slightly built it into a hill. You're going to have to crouch down now to get through the front door, but it is what it is. So, oh yes, we've got some nice bit of potential farmland. In which case, I'm not going to go too far into the residential area because it's not necessary. Let's start to paint down like this. And now is all we need is some farmhands. We've got two. Um, let's just kick someone off the building team. Aventin, you're fired! And you're immediately hired again. There we go. So now they should start to do that. Let's get our windmills in place. Um, we're going to build that somewhere like here, which we have no money, so we can obviously clearly not afford it. <laughs> God damn it. The windmill construction is underway. I like the little uh, little sails we've got dotted around. Nice. We're going to be able to hopefully start getting this built up. Someone's bringing over the stones. We also know where our bakery is probably going to go. Stick it up here. And then I'll probably squeeze in a little water well or something around here because they actually need uh, water along with the flour to make the bread. And otherwise they've got to walk all the way down here, which is kind of only going to make things worse. So hopefully we shall soon have proper bread production underway. Our windmill is now officially online. We actually have a spare man so he can become a, a Mr. Miller and he can go in the mill. They are starting to spread out the first crop now, the first corn harvest. And then hopefully they shall fill the whole area and then we'll have lots of wheat to be harvested, mill it down. And if we ever get above 10 gold, we'll also build ourselves a bakery. It just doesn't seem to quite be happening yet on the uh, 10 gold front but we shall shall do our best hopefully soon our monthly profits shall soon grow now we also need to think we also need to think about building a wooden keep this is one of the things we've been tasked to do as a quest but we also need like a, as a defensive structure i'm thinking kind of here on the outskirts of this territory would be quite a nice little place to do it it's probably going to be quite expensive but we can design it now i suppose if i was going to plan it something like it needs a little bit of height to it doesn't it, it has to be completely crappy and then it needs a little wooden top 
Ooh, it's quite nice. Oh, for two cloth. Oh yeah, for two cloth. It's worth a little flag on top. <laughs> now this is going to cost a lot of money, which we which we can't afford, and a lot of planks. But if we ever get any money, that's where our little a little defensive keep looking down over the village. Just imagine having a little archer in the top, just being able to shoot down. I'm starting to quite like our little village. It's really starting to look pretty cool now, isn't it? Starting to get quite a little bit of a setup going on. So our bailiff has actually found us an iron deposit. <sighs> a little geology in me is it getting excited. Now the problem is, it's outside of my territory. I don't know if it can even be brought in one. No, it can't. We're not going to quite be able to get there, even in one extra territory. Ah, we're going to need quite a lot more work to actually get over there. So that might be something we have to do in the future. The other problem we've got, I've just got my stonemason's hut built. We should produce one polished stone in exchange for stone. The plan being, I'm going to flog it. Because if we look over on our trade route, we are already selling planks, but we can also sell a little bit of polished stone. We could also technically sell berries, to be honest, but I don't know, it somehow seems a bit cheeky. But maybe we should. Oh, we just gained two villages. Become a stonemason. Get you assigned, and then they should start producing a little bit of polished stone, which will kind of be helpful as well. We've got enough. We can build the bakery. The trader came, and you can see he brought a lot of our stuff. Didn't get to sell him any polished stone. A few berries we did manage to get to sell him, though. Oh, he's just gone and brought the berries from the grain, grain, grain store, or even the granary. Come on, Evo, get your English together. Um, and that's what is in quite a good place. We can actually even commission the Keep of Doom. Oh. <laughs> I like how the little, the door is the only thing that pre-exists. <laughs> so I like the idea that someone's deciding to build a large wooden castle keep and they thought, yes, let's just put a doorway in on the first floor. <laughs> works for me. If it works for the builders, it works for me. Um, it should soon be harvest time. Um, they're, they're, they're getting the uh, the wheat is looking pretty good. Actually, it looks quite cool when it zoomed in. Um, so that should hopefully soon be harvested. A little wheat field. And then we should be able to get our bakery online. And lots of other things should be looking pretty good for us. We'll probably end up getting a second... Um, since we know the, the crop area is so good over here, we'll probably end up getting a second farm built here. And, and we'll grow out here as well. And then we'll just... We'll probably then expand the village into another area of territory, probably out this way since we're trying to get towards that iron mine. The wheat harvest is coming in. The farmers are busy scything it down as we gather in lots of wheat, which is kind of cool. And the, the miller has already started turning it into flour. You can see the flour starting to stack up. We've now got seven flour. Unfortunately, the bakery is still just a little bit of a wooden frame at the moment. We're actually a little bit short on tools. So we'll have to buy some more tools once the uh, market bloke comes back. In fact, that is him right there. So hopefully we're going to have enough money. Because we've actually... Well, we have basically used all our wooden planks in starting to construct this. This has consumed 72, so we're not going to have any of them to sell. We don't yet have enough stone produced. We're only up to 12. And we haven't got all that many berries. So we could be about to enter a period of some financial difficulty. The main thing is, hopefully the peasants don't revolt because they suddenly get really unhappy. Which can happen. I think the happiness can drop down really rather quickly. And you can soon have a lot of unhappy peasants on your hands. Alright, see how many tools he's prepared to sell us. He sold us them all. <gasps> okay, now we are pretty poor. <laughs> oh dear, that's not quite so good for our little village. Um, oh, he brought some berries. He brought some berries though. And that has significantly improved the situation. We were temporarily very poor. Until we sold a large amount of fruit. And now we're okay again. Um, that means they should be able to finish off this bakery. Because they only need the five extra tools. It's a priority building. And hopefully that should soon come online. Because we're already going to have stocks of wheat and flour. So it should be ready to go. Once the farmers have then got this harvested down. we Then, then they should just start growing again I guess. I don't think it's seasonal that much in this game. Otherwise we're only on month four. We're not going to get much wheat if it takes that long for it to harvest. And we've only got 30. Not exactly going to be producing a great swathes of bread. Also going to get this little well placed down here, just so it's right in front of the bakery, so they can get from the bakery to the well just to collect water easier. Otherwise, they've got to trek all the way down to the village centre to grab some water to walk all the way back. And, well, I guess it just makes the building very slightly less efficient. Um, so, I'm glad we're doing that. And we're also getting towards the end of week four, which I think when that ticks over, we should have the opportunity for some promotions. 
really kind of want to get a commoner so that we can start to unlock some of the other buildings. Our little wooden keep is actually slowly starting to get underway. It's a little bit short on resources and, well, it's quite a long way from being built. Actually has 54 on the maintenance cost as well, which is perhaps a little bit more expensive than I was kind of hoping for, to be honest, but hey-ho. Um, we are also perhaps going to have to think about building another market stall at some point, aren't we? Because, because once we get our bread available, we can then start to actually sell the bread at the market. I'm not sure if the serfs are going to buy it. Or if it's only really going to be the commoners, the next sort of rank of peasant. Is that the right term? Maybe. Um, who can then buy it. But either way, we're going to need to be selling it at some point. So well, we have gained a lone villager, so I may assign him to the market store. Because we do actually have now bread produced. I don't think we can sell bread on any of the trade routes. There's one over here, but we actually have to produce clothes before we can do that. Although we can unlock this trade route with bread. But what do they have for sale? And nothing particularly that I'm currently producing, so it wouldn't be very helpful. We do now have promotions available. Um, I wanted to get at least one of the... Let's get the bailiff and at least two people up to commoners, which should be nice. Uh, that should, in theory, give me opportunity access to more buildings now, because with the commoners there, we've got things like blacksmiths and stuff, but we actually still need to get to the iron mine before there's really any point in building any of that. But now we have dairy farms, cheese makers, sheep farms, weavers, huts, tailors, workshops... All other sort of sundry items. Um, we're not going to have money. <laughs> God, God damn it. Oh, our little, uh, little keep is slowly starting to come together. Oh, it looks like it's maybe a quarter of the way there now. Maybe even a third. Um, so we'll get a little bit more money together. If we can do any more promotions in the next four days, we probably will do if we manage to get enough. There's now bread available for sale, but it doesn't look like anyone's buying it. I think it's because it's only the commoners who buy the bread. That's what I think. And there's obviously only two commoners. <laughs> so that's kind of why. We can actually see that here. Yeah, two commoners, 13 serfs, and nine newcomers. We've sold some bread! Yay, we sold a piece of bread for 12 gold. Nice. Well, actually, may actually raise a small amount of income for us, hopefully, over time. Managed to get a few more promotions in with what money we had left, but it has caused quite a drop in happiness. People are saying there's a comfort shortage, and I think by that they mean they think there's a housing shortage, but I've allocated them loads of room for housing. They're just not making very good or efficient space use of it. So I hope they don't go and start to get really unhappy because happiness is starting to fall away. Look, now minus 89%. Uh, we were 100, which is dropping our immigration rating as well, which is really not very good. So hopefully the peasants don't start to get really unhappy and revolt just because they think there's a housing shortage. And really, there's lots of room available for them. Ooh, we just gained an extra villager as well. And we have got enough money from that selling a few bits of stone. Um... Not entirely sure, that's 100% right. <laughs> but that should give us a sheep farm. Um, and then we will need to be building along with it. A weaver, is it, or something like that? A weaver's hut. Um, where are we going to squeeze that thing in? Squeeze a little weaver's hut down there, which we can't afford, but one day we will be able to. God damn it. And so we'll have the sheep, the weaver's hut, and then we should be able to make some clothes from that, I think, as well. We should probably be selling a few more berries now. Nothing sold it this week. We're still selling a bit of bread. There we go. A little bit of bread got sold there. And that is our tailor's workshop commissioned. Actually doesn't need that many materials. So, once we get this online, we then should be really looking quite good. Hopefully this should all start to fly up relatively quickly. Let's set these as a more priority build. So they should get attention uh, over and above the keep, because I'd rather get this built more. Put that spare citizen on as a builder. And then there's a good chance that hopefully this sure stuff should get up, built up pretty quickly. And we should be okay. Still seemingly having a low residential space shortage. Although, looks like they've got a few extra houses built up here. Yeah, that one's grow, grown basically into a larger house. It's a little weaver's hut behind there. There is certainly room for them to build around here. You know, we've assigned so much residential space. They really should be able to build up here if they, uh, if they wanted to squeeze anything more in. Cut that little bit out right up to the keep. But yeah, I've got that space. Surely they can build over there if they want to build more houses, if they think they're in a, in a bit of a housing shortage. So we have our tailor's workshop. It's actually now been built. Looks like we are nearly getting our sheep farm online. That should be done shortly. And actually, pretty good progress on the weaver's hut as well. So hopefully we're soon going to be producing clothes. We're still having a slight housing crisis. It's improved slightly. But there's still a few people who think they've got insufficient housing, despite the fact I can't really explain why. Looking pretty good on the keep, like most of the wooden core structure seems to be built now. 
Um, and then we've just got the roof and kind of the larger slots and the proper stairs for the door and stuff on top. Like our weaver's hut is online. We'll assign one chap there. And then once this sheep farm comes online, we'll assign a chap there, chap there as well. Because there's no point having the uh, weaver's hut. And there's no real point doing the tailor's workshop until we get a little bit of wool coming through. So let's assign a shepherd. And we have to spawn sheep. Ha 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 ha! Don't abuse. <laughs> okay, we, we, we yeah, we might have put, might have put a few too many sheep there. <laughs> might have got a little bit carried away on the sheep front, but but hey, you know this is the farming district. What do you what do you expect? Um, it looks like maybe we did we get a couple of new people coming through. So let's assign there, so that's then fully staffed, and then we might as well put another one on the weaver, so then that's fully staffed as well. But hopefully, whenever our shepherd turns up, we should start producing wool, and then. We should start producing clothes, hopefully, rather quickly, at least. We should also start getting cloth as well, uh, which is sometimes used in some of our construction projects. So that's going to be pretty useful. Since we've got so much bread, though, I'm thinking about let's at least open up this trade route. We can then sell common clothes to Davenport, which is kind of handy. We can't yet make barrels, candles, or honeycomb or anything like that, but, you know, we can make clothes. And we can eventually actually perhaps sell... Um, some tools to middle, which would be kind of handy as well. So we've got a few possible options ahead of us in the future. Jesus, those sheep have got fat really quickly. And clouds are floating around on the floor. <laughs> That's fantastic. I was not quite expecting that. <laughs> we may have spawned slightly too many sheep. But we are starting to get a little bit of wool in now, which is nice. So hopefully that should soon make its way over to the cloth weavers, and then we should be should be going. Looks like they're looks like they're actually doing some spinning. Spinning, we're making cloth. Woohoo! Okay, so we are going to need to build a third market stall um, because we're then going to have to oh a good stall. Yeah, that's it. Build it there. Then at some point we can knock down this logging camp probably and move it much closer to the edge. Particularly if we ever buy this sort of next territory because. I think that would actually make a lot more sense than what we're doing at the moment. But anyway, we should get that built, and then hopefully another villager turns up some point soon, and then we can kind of deal with that as well. I did, of course, think the comfort shortage could just be down to um, not enough common and common space, if that makes sense. It's all sort of low-quality housing. Maybe someone is expecting sort of a higher tier of housing, and that could be our problem. Our wooden keep is finished. Our little town shall now be defended. And I'm glad I... Glad I built my little flag on the top as well. <laughs> um, apparently people I had to look are getting increasingly unhappy about the comfort shortage. That is really a problem for us. And it's just those two commoners who've got nowhere nice to live. Now, we're going to come back to a promotion event again soon. We could then take a risk and basically try and hire more commoners in the hope that it's going to mean that there's enough of them wanting somewhere that the desirability will go up. But like around here, the desirability is really high. So... I don't really get why they're not upgrading their house to somewhere bigger, if that's really kind of what their problem is. Um, so yeah, not quite sure, not quite sure why they're not doing that. Hopefully that's something they're going to be doing soon, because otherwise that's going to get quite a problem for us. Particularly some of them may end up sort of walking off if they're really unhappy with the current situation. Now I also, now we unlocked the other trade route, want to set... Um, 50 on the common clothes and sell all above that value from the warehouse. So we can assign some clothes to the warehouse as well, like that. At some point we're also going to have to build a second warehouse because that's going to be a problem for us as well. To compound all our ongoing issues. Um, now let's move this woodcutter's camp. I think would be a good thing to do. Just go and stick it down over there. Only needs five tools. Um... And then, you know, once we start to expand over this way, they can cut these trees as well, and it's not really a problem then. Much easier for us to deal with, I think. Okay, we now have our third market trader, and we have clothes assigned to the stall, so hopefully they should be starting to get sold at some point. There goes our lumber camp. So I think, if my understanding is correct, if I destroy that one now, they should auto-reassign to this one. Does it? Does it? Because they're woodcutters? Does it? Hmm. No, apparently not. And then their list auto assigned, and they're all the previous woodcutters, so they should have the proficiency and experience just to continue doing some woodcutting. Um, financially, we're looking a little bit better, at least now. Now we're going to have our promotions available. So, let's risk this. 
I think we'll go for four more. That gives us six commoners. Now this house here is the one with the highest desirability and that's for six people. My kind of hope being that then that's going to give them enough desirability for them to... Well, there's a high desirability house there as well. Pr promote this one and then the housing crisis will be improved. That's that's the, 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 the theory, at least anyway. Not entirely sure it's necessarily going to happen, but we can but try. Um, oh, and we started to sell some clothes as well, which is really nice. That's going to give us a little bit more of an income. So hopefully financially we should be a little bit better off now. Um, and not quite in quite such a continuous crisis. House is upgrading! Is it that one? Yes. Okay. Nice. My cunning plan has succeeded. Oh, that's probably going to actually overwhelm, is it, the service? Oh, God, there's going to be more serfs than I've got available at the church. Let's think about doing a little extension then on the church. Oh, that's a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more sensible. Build that then. They can start construction on a little extension. Hey, there we go. Another house coming up. There we go. The housing situation is hopefully going to start to resolve itself before too long. Because they are now hopefully getting this one built. If Adelaine can ever bring them enough blooming wood. Because apparently we're having a wood shortage. And there is a little few trees around here. So we may be okay. Let's get that built then. Yeah, that was getting a little bit dangerously close there. We nearly, we nearly screwed that one up, I think. But we should hopefully be okay. Let's set that as a priority build. Because we are going to run out of wood otherwise. And we haven't got enough money for the next territory yet. So that's really not going to resolve itself very quickly. And we go. We've got a little... Oh, that looks so much better. More like a proper little medieval townhouse now. Rather than the peasant's hovel that everyone was living in before. We've got houses springing up left, right and centre though. So we have got quite a lot still to build. The builders have certainly got a lot on their plate. Let's go with that. But the people who are most unhappy should at least now be kind of temporarily satisfied with the situation a little bit more uh, and yeah and they're going to start to get to work to building this forestry camp and we can forest out a small small area down here it doesn't initially need to be a large area it's going to move but for the time being that will kind of do when we get down there uh, we could do with a spare citizen to be honest i have to nick someone off somewhere maybe nick a spare builder off once it gets built just so we can get someone in there to actually do the reforesting okay our forestry camp is built well, let's kick a builder off. Uh, who's the worst? You. Finish up, please. And you're going to start work on the forestry camp. So you can start planting some trees. And hopefully we can sort of brush over this whole kind of wood crisis that's going on at the moment. And we can get the rest of the houses built and everything like that. But for now, I think we shall leave our little village here. Things are starting to really go quite nicely, to be honest. We have our little wooden castle. We have our church, we're starting to get some nice looking housing, which to be fair actually the peasant's house is actually almost as big now as my lord's manor. So we may have to do a little bit of work here before too long, otherwise I'm going to feel slightly cheated I think. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, if you have do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course subscribe to the channel for lots more random medieval videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you all on the next one.